Last time he was here, he was. I mean, that was the plan. I understand. I, yeah, he. I, I messaged him yesterday when the agenda went up about the meeting, and he indicated he was going to come here. So, I mean, that clock's a couple of minutes fast on the wall. Yeah, I got my phone. So, give him a few more.
And maybe there's no information available from the Supreme Court on that. Um, I think it was, I don't know. No, it was like the 26th, I think it's yeah. September. Because that was for the state and for the yeah. order of protection, yeah. right? But I think we're waiting yeah. for a ruling on that. Six. Six. Okay. Uh, and you? So we're expecting something like she said she had. Did you get a briefing schedule for the interlocutory review or no? No. I haven't seen it. 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 I haven't the time limit had expired. Maybe I misunderstood. Time limit for? For any actions to be taken on. On the brief? Mm-hmm. Huh. Am I clear to the briefs? The, the original three. I mean, it's been 10 months. Are actually, um, 10 months, 11 months, it's December. Oh, it's, but it still sits unresolved, so yeah. it's, a, it's a public issue. Yes. Yeah. You know, it, it uh, seems to me either legal, legal activity or statute change is really the only way this is going to get resolved. That's going to get resolved, yeah. Resolved, yeah. Are the... Um, in the meantime, Latrice, I get asked occasionally by people who are aware I've had some involvement in this issue, what is everything just dead in the water? And I've been telling them no, because the staff continues to take cases and can mediate and resolve some of them. Um, do you want to say something that would just sort of give people a sense of what proportion of cases can get resolved without action of the commissioners themselves? I mean, I was looking at the numbers in the reports, and some are apparently getting resolved. So. Yeah, this is forward. What's my question? What, yeah, of, of all the cases that get filed, what proportion are, in fact, um, held up or delay because the commissioners themselves can't resolve the case. In other words, because you and the staff get some of them sorted out and others get referred to other it, agencies. It would depend. Some of it would be um, seeking direction or a vote from the commissioner or what is the legal action to take on cases. It just depends. Are you referring to how many of these cases? What's the percentage of cases, um, you know, are being currently resolved without, you know, without us doing anything? Ninety, eighty-five. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, perhaps I'm not understanding the question. That so the commission sees cases after they go after the pause is finished, and it's not resolved. But right now, oh. like the commissioner is not really doing anything. So, but the, the office problem has been with the commission not doing anything is that we're violating our contracts. It's not necessarily a percentage of cases that should be. It's on the case status report. I think that's what might be why. It's right here. Is that the question? Yeah, I 
that's basically what he's asking. Well, uh, what's you know, on the case so what, yeah. Right. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so what? So what? What's at the beginning? What's at the bottom? Everything in the middle is what's apparently being approved or being processed or getting reviewed or whatever. But what's in the bottom that hasn't got through yet? My assumption is that's, that's what's not. That's being clear. Yeah, that's what's mm -hmm. not coming that's through. Yeah, that's what's going on. But it could be there could be um, cases. Could be a number of reasons. It may it may not be listed. So, but I, I mean that's not the the case is closed every month. I'm wondering if that's the case. So things are still moving along, even if we're not all set. Was that what the question was? Was it? Yeah. My, my question is, what proportion of each case filed? would be affected by the fact that the commissioners yes. haven't been acting as a commission for 10 months. And... Uh, portion of the case filed? Of the cases filed. Yeah, the ones that come in. So the number, so each month on the case average report shows you have uh, cases that are closed. It's on the first page. So that's on the year closed. So in June, there were 75 and 15 closed. Yeah, yeah that's going to, the, the cases closed obviously are going to be ones from prior periods. So Probably. there's a pipeline. Some are getting resolved this is for this month, through right? staff action. Mm -hmm. Some are getting referred elsewhere mm -hmm. because they don't belong here. And some are stuck because this we're commission stuck. isn't functioning. Well, that's what I was trying to get a feel for because it seems to me that the public interest is what's getting held up, presuming that the other parts of the process are working as they should. And I think it would be of interest to the public uh, to know how substantial is the impact. Obviously, if you're one of the people that have a case that's stuck, it's a significant impact. But, you know, I, I, I was trying to get a sense of is it a handful of them? Uh, how extensive? But you're basically saying everything on the agenda, that listing of cases, are ones pending this commission being able to function with the commissioners. If you look at the case status report for September, you can tell me how many are not resolved because of us not. Yeah. It's on the agenda. Okay. Not sure that there were four. Until your date. So for September, there were five cases closed. Right, 25 cases closed. Mm -hmm. But any of those open cases not being taken care of because because, of what? because the commission is not working as a commission. Those are on the agenda. So these could also be three that need action taken. There are four, six mm -hmm. cases here. There's a few more um, ones on the back too. So, so basically, if I'm understanding you correctly, at this point, there are one, two, three, four. Five, six cases that are stuck. Those are the cases that are waiting on the commission. Okay. Right. The commission to take it to okay. the hearing or not. But there could be other there could be cases. Others is what you're saying. Do you have any idea what that other number might be? So we could have, we um, for sure have one case that uh, we need to vote on whether or not to add it, pursue it in for litigation. Um, but not, I'm going to cut you off the trees, but it's not like 50 or 60, it's not a, it's not a bigger number. <laughs> the commission doesn't see that many yeah, cases, no. no. And even of these, the commission could just invoke the same, you don't want to get those of other hearings, you know, because we don't have the greatest of uh, substantial impact on the public for us to invest the resources into it uh, based on the resources that we have. Case that only 
involves the one person who filed the case. It's not a matter. It, I mean, it could be very well in violation of our ordinance, but it's not impacting the public at all. It's just not one person. The commission usually doesn't take those to public hearings unless they feel that there's a policy or something in place that um, is not only going to impact the person who filed the case, but it's going to impact all the other people who mm -hmm. interact with that mm -hmm. respondent. And the commission will say, yeah, we're going to take that forward to public hearings because we think that's going to have a greater impact. Our housing cases have engineered it to decline public hearings, but they don't hold on to the person to the ordinance. So um, all of those cases have to go to public hearings and we have to have um, representation. I mean, I'm just thinking sure, that people at this table can't resolve the issues that are out there on their own. So I'm thinking about uh, what needs to be done in order to get so well, probably until <coughs> the cold case is resolved, that's going to be some of the people. And then ours yeah. is just in limbo. I mean, that, that would affect before, although mm -hmm. those terms expire yeah, on the 30th. <laughs> and depending on how you interpret the statute, yeah. you're either renewed or you're not, <laughs> if you want to be. The, uh, um, and then the three's left hanging, and those terms don't expire until uh, November 30th, 20. Mm -hmm. You know, and it doesn't seem like it's a good <coughs> idea to have this last another year because no, if any one of us would want to be participating in yeah, it, I agree totally with that. So it seems like either either the courts or the city council are gonna to have to take action if they want to get results. Yeah. And that could be a while, because if the Supreme Court turns down the city's appeal, mm -hmm. then presumably there'll be a trial. Let me, let me ask a what if. I don't know. We all just voted today. We'll have a. Not yet. We'll I'm going to. Come on. Yeah, so we're going to get in there. But you know, you can ask me out there and vote. So we'll have a new mayor in place. Uh, probably you know, a few new council persons also. Mm -hmm. the, the what if question. What if the, the mayor and the council make the decision and we'll start from scratch? And all of us are gone. And there's a whole new boat of people coming in. The question is, where does the lawsuit, where would the lawsuit fall in place if something like that occur? So so then we've got a whole new set of players. We've got multiple players now waiting on the lawsuit to determine who is and who isn't. Mayor says, just screw all that. This is what we're going to do. I mean, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm cute. I want to know, like we all want to know, how is this going to get resolved? And then, you know, I mean, maybe we don't we don't want to play the way the game, but I'm thinking, you know, this could go on until I'm 90, and I don't plan on, you know, I have a lot more years before I'm 90, so you know, how, how, how is this, is there anything we can do to get resolved? I'm at the point of whatever they say is what we'll do. I haven't been told officially that I'm not a council, a commissioner. Uh, I've been told that I am a commissioner. We're all in the same boat. This is so frustrating. We're all busy. We all have tons of things to do. So I, I, I guess, is there a way, maybe is there a consorted way that we can do something to push? You know, who, who's saying that the commissioners are not accepted? Who is the one that's saying that they are not? Who are the ones that are saying that it is? In my mind, they need to work it out. We, need, we got a job to do. We need a job. 10% done, I guess. Mm -hmm. I, <laughs> I know it's a mind boggling. Yeah, I know. Well, I, I think it's going to take the elected officials to move it along. Mm -hmm. They're either going to have to say the city has to sue about the three, okay, and then, and then that would get resolved, whatever gets resolved. Or, I think the only other option to change the statute. And I'm not sure what happens to Nicole's case because on November 30, right. it sort of becomes moot. Mm -hmm. 
what the decision is, unless you say that, unless you agree with the interpretation, which some of before, that you remain a commissioner as long as you want, unless unless you choose to leave. And I, you know, some of us disagree with that interpretation, but it's been offered and believed by serious people. So, you know, but I, I could see it just that case kind of dies because of the time. Well, I would think that if he removes me the same way he removed you, yeah. that opens up a whole nother possible. They won't remove. No. Well, okay, replaced. So, I, 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 just nudged over. Always a pleasure. Yeah. 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 So, I want to ask a lot of questions. I'm talking about last question. But, so, is, is Michael officially chairman, chairperson? That's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Same question they had last month. I, I think so. I mean, I think. Why would it why be? Would he, be uh, he only wouldn't be if the appointment of the four turns out to be ruled illegal. Mm -hmm. If Nicole's lawsuit prevails. Okay. And Nicole is, are you, but this is for you though, correct? It's not for all four. The the other people, letter, you just covered them. So yeah, well, so, yeah, yeah. that's a whole other question. <laughs> okay. No, we, I don't want to open another can. Yeah. <laughs> so. yeah. Uh, all right. I can tell you we'll know something January. <laughs> One way or the other, we'll know something. Well, you may know. Yeah, yeah that's true. Well, good to see you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to meet you. I learned some more about uh, gumbo. Yeah. 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 You bring suckers for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Tell your doctor they need to come yeah. over that. Yeah. 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 She wants some donuts. Yeah. yeah. Bring some. That sounds gumbo. good. Hey, if you guys want to get out and vote today. Yep. I've heard you make really good gumbo. I think like three or four people have told me that. Did you volunteer? Did you just volunteer? Did you just volunteer? That's what I heard. She volunteered to make gumbo. You good folks have a good day. You make gumbo, you better watch out. Have a good one. Okay. Have a good day. Sorry. And who are you? I'm Roy Bircher. I live at 7th and Gaines. Ah. He's a friend of 10th. Oh, okay. Well, she bad Tim wasn't here for this. Ooh, her? All my movies to the day. Well, good to meet you, Roy. Yeah. I'm Susie Greenwald. I, I know who you are. Oh, okay. To the city council. Yeah. The ones that replaced me. To okay. Memphis, like they told him on Wednesday, he did Monday. <laughs> wow. Well, I guess they're interesting. Uh, hey, buddy. Yeah. Um, when did can we get this moved? I'm about to bring in some confidential. Jumbo. Hey, come on. Come on. Come on. I'm rusting, lady. Come on. Let's go down. I am rusting. Come on. Come on. You want to go get a treat? That way you have to stay in private. Sometimes. My dog just had to turn two of them were rustling. And one's coming up, coming under his teeth. So it's hurting him. He's crying. 
and we've had our fights and there's one small lady and we got a little and and the, the other one was pulling so it was choking her while the other one's teeth are getting hurt. Oh my husband had to like lay on him and that's right. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Sable is a no 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 because no, she's no, fifteen no, years old. She's not uh um, that happen across the floor sometimes she just flop and she start running and get naked buddy. Flop. <laughs> Well, my one, so I took her collars off. Oh, is that I know. one of them. She likes oh, yeah. the mm -hmm. that tightens and it's kind of cracked and rustling. Hi. So I got my dress off. So she does really not like to be naked. <laughs> now I can like it was the That's end of the world, awesome. but she's naked right now. He knows my dog takes her off. I have no idea what Oh, she does not. It's anxiety. Oh, like. yeah. Aww. And my son's dog gets her collars off. That dog just cries and carries on. Put it back on. She's fine. My dog is the exact opposite. No, Sable, Sable, she, like every six weeks we take her, you know, to the goon. And they always put bows on her, on her bun. <laughs> <They're all these, laughs> she can't wait to get those. You bring her home, she doesn't even want to go inside. She wants no, to open the gate and her in the She starts to get those bows off.